Hey friends, it's Quinby, the Grateful Queen here on YouTube, and we're on our way to your favorite thrift store. This is a thrift store that I featured in my series called Bye Bye Goodwill, where I'm looking for thrift stores that are not Goodwill, not Goodwill high prices and Goodwill marking everything up. And in my area, no sales at all, no 50% off, nothing at Goodwill. So this is a new to me store. I went there a few weeks ago. I made a video about it and everybody says this was one of their absolute favorite stores. I did find some good stuff. They do have things marked up, but what I noticed in this store is a lot of the things that were marked up were really good brands. I don't have a problem when they get something amazing and they mark it up. Good for you. It's that they're marking up everything at Goodwill and some of it is like Target brands and some of it is marked up to like $15. I'm like, that's too much. But they have some good things, so we're gonna go back to this store. It'll be my second time in this hospice thrift store. I'll take you into the store. Let's see what we can find. Okay, here we are at the hospice thrift store, and I forgot a couple things about this store. One is it's very hard to find parking. And I'm sharing this stuff with you because I'm trying to evaluate new stores that aren't Goodwill. And the other thing about this store is they don't have carts no carts that means little basket on the floor situation which i don't love but look at this all blue tag clothing a dollar sale red tags half off probably because it's february valentine's day okay i see red tags so these are all going to be half off so this is dresses. Um, it's awfully busy in here. Ooh, activewear. Should we look through everything or should I just look at half off tags? Just to give us an idea, this is $3 for whatever this sports bra is. $6, so everything's individually priced. 90 degrees, that's not a brand that I deal with. I don't do much with Nike because there's just so much of it. These look like new tag, extra large. Adidas, that I marked up to $15. I get bored when I have to look through all the black stuff. Oh, I know where I want to go. Okay, I stopped what I was doing because I just remembered this is the new, new arrival section. Like, hello, Eileen Fisher wool jacket. Oh, they have a special tag on it. $18.50. It's nice though. Hmm. A little too high for me. Five dollars for some Nike. This is where I find, found the Viore and Lululemon last time. Packs and jeans. Loft. Nothing exciting too far so far. New arrivals, new arrivals. Oh, and look at this is all red half off. Oh gosh, guys. I'm gonna look at the new arrivals first because I feel like that's my best bet. And then they've got like scarves, hats, all sorts of stuff. This is a brand I totally love and usually buy, J. Jill Wherever Collection, but not in an extra small petite. If it was kind of any other size, 550, just because that does so reliably well for me. Stella and Dot. Hmm. Kimono type top for five bucks. This, I think I'll take. It's an Everlane 100% organic cotton t-shirt. It's only three bucks. I'm gonna have to look it over really well. Cropped boxy t-shirt. I just love that brand. Did you guys see my recent video where I did a new tag Everlane jeans unboxing? I've already sold three out of the 10 pair of jeans. Two by Vince Camuto, but I like that. All right, I struck out in the new arrivals. I just have one top so far, one Everlane top, so I'm feeling a little bit discouraged, but you know how that is in the beginning. I just have to find a few good things and then I'll be feeling good again. Um, this is half off. I don't know how long it's been half off already, so I don't know if 
I'll find anything good in here, but they have a ton of J.K.L., but it's all size small and extra small, which I really don't mess with unless it's a very special piece or unless it's super cheap, like a dollar or something. So I'm sort of interested in these. These are Theory, size 10. They were probably like $250 new. They'd be $4, but there's some weird, like, puckering or something right there. I don't know if it was just from being on the hanger, weirdly. I wouldn't pay 8 for those. J. Jail Denim High Rise, size 12. I'll have to check those out, because that's a good size. They would be $4.25. I think that's too much. J. Jail Denim is not my best. I do better with, like, regular pants. For some reason, this denim is not as popular. So I'm thinking about this. This is Athleta. Just does so well for me. Size medium. And it is half off, so it would be $325. It's sort of plain. It's a long black tunic with a seam down the back. But since it's large, I'm thinking I'll probably take that. I did not do very well in the half off or new arrival section. What's this? Zuda. I'm going to have to look that up. I don't know what that is. I don't even know what section I'm actually in right now. I think it's... Oh. That's cute. Women's sleeper and cozies. I love that. Cozies. Ooh, free people. Ooh, oh gosh, I see this. This probably isn't good because look, it has one of these devices on it. $16. kind of want that for myself, though. I'm going to put that in the cart. That's way too overpriced, but for myself, it could be good. See something silk right here. Ooh. J. Joe large size silk, $5. Wide leg silk pants. It's a little something right there, but I really like those. Those are half off. Might be something wrong with them. We're going to look at them after. All right, so this is definitely good. AYR, size 10, $8. Yikes. They have a cool, like, slit detail and some seam. Those are amazing. Those are definitely going in the cart. It's, at least it's sort of like a hybrid basket cart, right? But I'm still not a big fan of the basket and not the cart. Okay, so at least I found a few pretty good things right now, so it's looking up. I was getting a little nervous there, but I'm, I think I'm recovering. It's a little more expensive, but I'm willing to pay up for the good stuff like those pants. This is HD in Paris. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, is it red tag? This would be four dollars. Is it a teeny size? This is an anthropology brand. Love it. This is the cutest skirt. Look at it. Look at the ruffles. I don't know. What else do we see? I want to go to the section where it's like they're higher end because it's usually really good. But it's been so crowded. Um, I'll report that. I really like this piece and this brand. This is an anthropology brand. This is a size small. It doesn't have holes. It's supposed to be like that. Cutest dress, right? Like a baby doll style. This is like their loungewear line, so it's all like comfort stuff. But $12, so I'm going to have to pass on that. But I really like that piece and... Of the anthropology brands, that one actually still sells well for me. Oh my god, that's so funny. I was like, this is Bowden, I bet. Bowden, size US 10. Cute dress. It looks, it's half off. It was 12, it would be 6, but to me it looks um, faded. Cute with pockets and everything, but it just looks like maybe it's been washed too many times and now it's faded, but otherwise I would like that brand. 
When I don't see a tag, I look on the dress to see, like, is there an athleta symbol or something, but I don't see anything on that one. There's still a lot of red tags, like, um, in this section, for instance. So it's not all on that section that they set up with just red tags. Eliza J, that's a pretty good brand, but I don't feel like messing with that formal dress. Formal dresses just don't do well for me. This brand does well. Lauren, Ralph Lauren, half off of 10, so it'd be five, size four. I'm gonna think about that because, believe it or not, that brand actually does really well for me, so I should be picking it up more. I guess it's not like exciting for me. It's not my style, but um, it does sell well. All right, you guys, I didn't end up filming at the um, specialty priced up section just because there's too many people over there, but we didn't miss much. Um, taking a quick look at the shoes, but I refuse to buy any shoes that need any work because I have a bin of shoes that need work and it's just sitting there. Kids. I'm not doing the work. Oh, these are Born. I personally like that brand, Born. Oh, look at these. They're like high heel espadrilles by Bionic. Wow, those are cute, but they look tiny. Wow, let's see. $10. This is a really good brand, Bionic. Keep your eye out for that. But these have got to be like a size 5 or something. It's a good deal if those were your size. 10 bucks for Bionic? Yeah. Aerosols. They have some good stuff. Um, a little pricey, but not if it's like for you. I'd pay $10 for some shoes if they were right for me. They have some cute stuff. What do you guys think? Would you buy those Vionic? They're like, they're like a size 5. They're tiny. Um... Look at these little J. Jill velvet. Oh, those are so cute. Velvet flats, $6, size 10. Really clean and really cute. But I'm not getting them because I'm not being a good reseller and um, photographing and cleaning shoes. I sold some shoes this week too um, for like 50 bucks each. Oh my god, check this out. HG New York. That looks vintage. All beaded. I oh, love it. Um, yeah, I've made some good sales. I love the sales. But I'm not doing the work. So this is nice. This is Soul Angeles and Anthropology collab. Like a pretty gold t-shirt. Um, they have it for $12. This would be six half off. And so that just seems like a little much. This is a free people tank. It would be half off of $6.50, so it would be $3.25. But, um, and you know I love my free people, but that is not in good shape. It's like kind of pilly. Um, so I don't want to mess with that. Okay, this is amazing. This brand is Marine Layer, but it's an extra small. It's like a big, I think, wool jacket. It would be half off. They've got it for $24, so it would be $12. That's pretty tempting, except it has a lot of pilling, so it would need like a sweater shave. I don't want to sweater shave it. Um, I'm just checking. I think it's just wool. That's too bad. But I have to be honest with myself, like, I don't like sweater shaving. If it's a tiny bit, right before I take pictures, sure. But do I want to spend a half hour sweater shaving that? Nope, I don't. That's just the truth. Okay, I don't know if this card is stuff that they're waiting to put out. But there's a lot of good stuff on it. Look at this set of three. But look at this. $10. It's a heavy metal, has a bird on the top. I don't know if it's just made to look old, but I'm putting that in the cart. Oh shoot, where am I going to put it? This is not easy. 
birthday and I have to go pick up Torvald from school quite shortly. There's a lot of good stuff over here. There's another one, but I don't like this one as much because it's like too bright silver. The other one looks older. A hat box. My mom always buys me hat boxes. I store things in them. Oh my god. 80 cents. Glamour. Ray Dunn. Is that right? 80 cents. And there's another one that says Shine. Huh. I don't know. I don't really... I know there's a lot of Ray Dunn fans, but it's not my thing. A lot of good stuff. Okay, I don't have a ton of time for this. I've got to go through my cart. I have to find a spot to go through my cart. That's just a print. Like something from TJ Maxx or something. We did just buy a new couch. So I am looking for some furniture things. Um, I love those white leather chairs. Hmm. All right, let's go find a spot where I can go through my cart. I picked up a bunch of stuff I wasn't able to show you. It's very busy, I swear. I think I have a sign on my head that says, come stand as close to me as you possibly can. Um, like, come stand right next to me. That must be what I'm projecting out there into the world. Okay. Okay, I want to show you just some of the things I didn't have a chance to show you earlier. I just pulled this out. I'm definitely getting that for I, I did myself. Get that thing if you want. Yeah, that's something like this is J Jill and it's Pontine, which is really good. It's eight dollars, so it'll be four dollars. Sort of a heavier knit tunic. Showed you these, the J Jill pants for five bucks. Silk. This is the brand Tiny for anthropology. This is like a silk front top with all this ruching and then it has a light back. So they have it at 14, so it'll be seven. But I think the style's good enough on that. This is like a gauzy J. Jill top. It has an um, older tag, but it's an XL. It's a black gauzy like wrap front top, $6. I think I showed you everything else. I have to decide now about this. Because this is $16. This would be for me for work. Okay, they also keep like their pottery and stuff in the front, furniture and other stuff in the back. So I'm just taking a real quick look to see if there's anything I want to either resell or for my own collection. Two dollars on that little tiny cup. Oh, look at that. Let's go see what this is. It's eighteen dollars. It's some sort of crock with little chicks painted on it. Interesting. That's cute. we have. Hmm. Okay, I'm ready to check out, but of course now there's a big huge line. Okay, friends, all in all a pretty good top, some really good brands there, some anthropology, some free people, some athleta. Just a really good mix of brands. So I will definitely come to this store again. It's a nice shopping experience. I like the store. I wish I had more time to go through the back with furniture and hard goods um, because there was some cute, really cute good stuff and some vintage stuff and their prices were pretty good on that. So, And I am selling a lot more hard goods. As always, I appreciate you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye, friends. So I... This is a... Hmm. So... Card a basket. Let me do this. Of the cleaning. I don't know why I'm looking through this section.
pricier than I would want, but this is when you benefit from half off because they price things up pretty high, but then I get it on half off day. This is too much cleavage. 